Hi, I'm Jelena Jensen, and you're up to your neck in the Video Outhouse. At the Video Outhouse, we don't want to get along. That's why we do fight news. Here's comic book man and Bo Cephas. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to the Video Outhouse. It's MMA news time, and I'm here with... Oh, how you doing? Punchy! <laughs> punchy? Punchy here. Where's and the Hawaiian punch at? Punchy McKinney. No, you just punch you all the time. Oh. Uh, and first story up is the UFC. Oh, I love the UFC. Oh, I love hitting myself in the head, too. Nobody I love the UFC. At 11-14, they they got a thing going on with Randy Couture and who else? Randy Couture and Brandon Vera will be fighting at the UFC main event, which is in Manchester, England. Yes. Uh, the show will air on Spike because it's in England, and so it's tape delayed. Yes. Uh, but it'll be on, on November the 14th. Okay. Dana White has done a TV deal thing with, with somebody on September 15th, which was like a week ago. So why the hell are we doing this story? And he obviously is not reading what I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm doing this on the Dana fly. Oh, it's 2010. Dana Never mind. We got guaranteed a television <laughs> deal on the network by September 15th. Well, you got plenty of time 2010. then. 2010. <laughs> he wants to do quarterly network specials, but he hasn't found a network to sign up for it. Probably it'll be on ESPN. But that's what's going on. You heard it here first. Another Dana White story. Dana White is pissed off at Quentin, uh, Quentin Jackson because he pulled out too soon. Never pull out too soon, man. Pisses those chicks. Oh. Quentin Rampage Jackson oh, yeah. is retired from uh, from the from MMA to do the AT movie. He announced his retirement this week. Uh, Dan is a little Dan is a little annoyed by it because he was supposed to be in the co-main event for the Twelve Tough Show oh. against uh, Ra Rashad Evans, which is the entire purpose about having the, him, Rashad Evans and Quentin Jackson being coaches of this season of Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Dana thinks it's a really strange thing to do. He doesn't think he's going to make a lot of money a lot of money doing the movie. But Rampage says that he's willing to do the movie, and he's very upset that UFC didn't want to wait for him to be done with the film, which he's shooting right now. Uh, let's see. To do let's the let's see. Do I want to spend the rest of my life getting punched in the face or make money for doing movies? I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Seth Petrozelli says that he asked for a rematch with that big guy, Kimbo Slice, who looks very scary. Uh, I put his picture up on the website this week. I've never seen him before. Like he's, his picture. He's, he's very scary. scary looking. He's very scary. He's a meat eater. The last time, <laughs> the last time you saw Elite XC on CBS, he looks like CBS. a he looks like a black version of Pete. <laughs> uh, Kimbo Slice fought Seth Petrozelli, uh, and basically that fight and the events after that, which more or less suggested Petrozelli in an online interview, was suggested there was something a little fishy about it, and it may have been fixed. And that was the end of the network. He says he wanted a rematch with Slice. Slice has already turned it down. In fact, Slice has already said he's moved on past that, and he doesn't want to talk about it anymore, and it's over with. Okay, last story up. C CBS Sports has announced that on November the 7th, they are doing a primetime what? They're doing a primetime show. Remember Elite Whoa, XC? Oh, really? Well, I thought Elite, they had a whole slate of shows on primetime. Elite time. XC has basically been replaced by the folks at Strike Force. Yes. The main event on the live TV show, it'll be actually it'll be done here at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates. The main event will be <laughs> Everything Fed happens there. Fedor Milkiano against Brett Rogers. You're also going to see uh, Jason Mayhem Miller fight Jake Shields. Uh, the fight was supposed to be on Showtime. The, most of the card was supposed to be on Showtime. It is instead going to be on CBS, so I don't think it's a pay-per-view. And... But shouldn't that give all their 80-year-old audience coronaries? Probably. <laughs> but actually, to be honest, Elite XC did pretty well. Hit the gun of a bitch! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> Elite XC actually did pretty well demographically on CBS. And that's all the news we have. But by the way, yes, we have a shout-out. We, shout we have a shout-out. We do? We do? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. We do. We we get do. to shouting. Okay, uh, shout. This what? is to him. There was an email sent. Apparently, there was a comment on the on, the, on our YouTube thing. People saw it on YouTube. Yes. And I forget. Thank the you, by the way, if yeah, you're really sending people saw a comment. What? I forget the gentleman's name. Uh, I apologize for forgetting his name. He said that uh, he re he really wanted to like me, but he thought he didn't know whether I knew a lot about MMA or uh, BJ Penn. I know a general a lot of, a lot of information about MMA. More than and me. I yeah more than him. And I also am fully aware of B.J. Penn's history. The point I was making, even the, about the whole grass Vaseline thing and him fighting George George S. P St. Pierre, yes. was n was that the fact that Pierre was a little oily yes. didn't really have anything to do with the outcome of the fight. That yes. was in the first couple rounds. By the time the fight was over, with, it didn't really work that way. Uh, sometimes I'm going to make errors because you know we're live, we're nervous. But thank you for being a Speak fan. To thank you for making a comment. <laughs> And keep watching us. And I, I'm sorry I forgot your name. 
But thank you for watching this, and I appreciate the comment. And so does he, even though he doesn't know anything about fighting. <laughs> no kidding. You know, if he doesn't like you, it's okay. I still like you. No, he, no, he said he. I still like no, he you. said he wanted to like me. So I guess he does. He's, he's watching. He could be watching this after this is posted. And if we make any errors, please let us know. And and you know why I like him the most? Why? Because of things like this. <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, it. We're done. We're out of here. Till next time, this is Comic Book Man saying bye. We gotta let Dan inside. Dan's outside. He can't get in. Bye, kids. <laughs>